Hey everybody, it's me Marquita, and I'm here doing another, uh, hold on. <clears throat> I am here doing another video, this one is for Cinco de Mayo, and it's really not a quote, but I want to make it the quote of the day video, because it's a very special, um, day, <coughs> in Mexico. Um, for people that are of uh, uh, Mexican or Spanish descent, uh, I want to be politically correct. Um, I hope I am. Uh, I hope I'm getting all these facts right. Okay, what is Cinco de Mayo? Cinco de Mayo, or fifth day of May. Fifth uh, of May is a Mexican holiday that can, can, hold on, let me ask, Gare, how do you say this word, the C word, hold on guys, <clears throat> the C word, commemorates, Sorry, okay. Hold on, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this is better. I will reread it. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo, or 5th of May, is a Mexican holiday that can... What's it? Commemorates. Commemorates the victory of the Mexican army over... An invasion, evading uh, French army uh, at the Battle of Palabro in 1862. It is not, as many people mistakenly believe, Mexicans, uh, Mexico's Independence Day. That date is September the 16th. I did not know that. I learned something new while looking this up. I, as probably many Americans, thought that the 5th of May, Cinco de Mayo, is um, the Mexican holiday, Me Mexican Independence Day. I think last year I mistake mistakenly said that Cinco de Mayo is Mexican Independence Day. So I do, 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 I do apologize uh, for for everybody that, I, everybody that I offended unknowingly. I now know better. I now know better. And I do apologize. And I'm so, so sorry for saying that it was Mexico's. Independence Day. I do apologize. Um, and then see, and then and then says, although the Mexican army was eventually defeated, the battle. Sorry, I don't know Spanish. Um, Badalina D. 
Pablo became or de Pablo became a symbol of Mexican unity and pros I don't know Parastis which with this victory Mexico dis dismembered I don't know to hold on let me have Gary read this. Gary will you please read this? Because I met you know me. I don't know big words. Hold on guys. He's coming. Okay. Okay. Just just reread the whole thing. Don't touch it. Because it's gonna stop recording. Okay. Cinco de May or Fifth of May. Make sure you interact with the camera. Or the fifth of May is a Mexican holiday that commemorates the victory of the Mexican army over the invading French army. <coughs> Excuse me. At the Battle of Pueblo, Puebla, in 1862. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I don't know if my speed is too well. Uh, it is not, as many people mistakenly believe, Mexico's Independence Day. <laughs> that day is September the 16th. Although the Mexican army was eventually defeated, the Battalia de Piabla began, became a symbol of Mexican unity and patri patriotism. With this victory, Mexico demonstrated to the world that it was willing to defend itself against foreign invasions. Sorry guys, I got a peppermint. Try to knock these horses out. <clears throat> Um, I wanted to celebrate today. What's tomorrow? Huh? It's tomorrow. Yeah, I meant, sorry, tomorrow. Today's the fourth, <laughs> and I'm making this for tomorrow. Um, well, I, I can say today because it's going to yeah, come out tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, that's okay, okay, so I am celebrating Cinco de Mayo because I want to give respect to the uh, Mexican uh, population. population. Um, not the traditional drinking your head off. Well, I mean, I guess because I want to, I want to celebrate everybody and if y'all seen what was it vlogmas was it vlog did we do it for vlogmas or did we do it for vlog giving i don't remember um, i think it was vlogmas that i did <coughs> that i wanted to celebrate everybody's um holiday <coughs> And I was saying that um, and Cinco de Mayo was one of the holidays that I said in that video. Um, I guess I think of Cinco de Mayo as the 4th of July which is the United States Independence Day from Britain. Um, and I think of Cinco de Mayo as Juneteenth. Not many people know about Juneteenth. Juneteenth is, the, is June the 19th. June the 19th. What was it? Night, uh, 18... 
1862, 1865, something like that. Please forgive me. I do apologize. But June 10th is June, is June the 19th, 18, I'm going to say 1865. <clears throat> On that day, that's when slaves became free. And for years, I always yeah. celebrated the uh, Slavery Independence Day yeah. on June the 4th. Because I always thought it was June the 4th and then the United States right. Independence Day was July the 4th. <laughs> and so, I found out when me and Gary, we, when we were researching, um, like different holidays, and I'm like, I, I need to know the year of the, I say, I'm going to say African Independence Day. I don't know what else to call it besides yeah. Juneteenth. Yeah. Um, but I when I found that it was not. June the 4th, like I thought, it was June the 19th, and, it, and the proper name for it is Juneteenth. I then, like, respectfully store that right here. Now, I did not store the year, but I did remember June the 19th, respectfully. And that's that's um that's how I think of Cinco de Mayo because they got their independence. And I guess that's eighteen sixty five. That's what I said, eighteen sixty five. Yeah, I'm making sure. Well no, I was thinking but you said you gave two different days, I was make sure so you had it accurate Okay. June the nineteenth, eighteen sixty five is what I consider African Independence Day, and it, and and I know that that's not right. Uh, slavery Independence Day. I I, I, I don't. Mean, it pretty much is. It's just a uh, celebrating freedom. Yeah, but if I say African Independence Day, people might think that I'm talking about yeah. like the continent of yeah, Africa. Yeah. So, and I don't want to say Slavery Independence Day because African American. You know, they weren't considered American to do anything. It's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The freedom of the slaves. Yeah. Um. So what was that going with that? You were just saying, comparing it to the uh, thick of the mouth. I just wanted to... Just tilt my hat. Yes, I know I've got no hat. I want to pay respect respect to Cinco de Mayo. Even though right now in my country, the United States, we're not treating the... probably get a lot of backlash we're not treating the Mexicans very very nice and like I said I probably get a lot of backlash because I don't think we should build a wall I really don't I don't think we should build a wall and I know that's like, that's a very touchy subject nowadays. But I also didn't think we needed to close our borders um, to Muslims, to anybody. Um, when Russia closed 
I think they closed the border to the United States for adoption. I don't know. I don't remember if we did it or if they did it first. One of us did it first. And then the other one fell suit. Um, I believe... The, sorry, this... I still got the, the peppermint. I think that everybody should have an equal opportunity to know about each other and to be to be safe and to be free even though with me saying that born and raised in the United States born and raised in the South born and raised in Tennessee <coughs> everything that I said that I think that or born and raised as a black female. With me saying that. Me saying that I think everybody should have the right to be free. We're not getting that in this country. Fair occupation. Fair opportunities, fair safety, just fairness. Now, I don't want to make it a black and white thing, because that's that's not where I want to take it. I want to leave this positive, and and the positive things that I want to say is. When the French came over to Mexico, the Mexican um, army was like, no, wait, hold up. Like, you ain't going to come in here thinking that you run anything. And then they stopped it. They shut it down. And like this article says, eventually they was defeated, but they, but they didn't go down without a fight. And I like that. I like that. And so when I say I don't think our borders should be cropped, should be, I don't think that our borders should be closed. And I don't think that we should build a wall. Because if somebody is over there not being able to defend themselves, and if somebody is over there not being able to be safe, then I think that they should be able to go somewhere that could possibly help them be safe. And I think the same should happen with us. I think that us in the United States should be able to go out in their neighborhood and be safe. Go to work and be safe. Walk in your neighborhood. Sit on your front porch and be safe. So, I respectfully respect them for standing up their self. So, I just want to leave it positive. That I just want to make, it, make sure that everybody is having a happy Cinco de Mayo day. And I want to wish my niece Desiree a happy 19th birthday. I remember May the 5th, 1999. She was almost born on the 6th. But on the 5th, 1999, a little girl named Desiree was born. She sneezed in my face. And I got sick. And in return, I couldn't hold her because I was sick. Even though she got me sick. Walked under the bridge. She's a beautiful 19-year-old woman. And I'm very proud of knowing you. Even, like, of getting to see you grow up. But, y'all have a nice night. And give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to vote for Queen Bianca Brooks. I will leave her information in the description below. Bye.